protesters took a stand outside First City Court Thursday, hoping to stop evictions from happening. The people that are being impacted the most are taking it upon themselves to stop evictions. The New Orleans Renters Rights Assembly organized what they're calling the Evict the Court rally. They blocked entrances for five hours, saying court is closed, keeping almost everyone from entering court. We respectively just let them know you, you don't have to come in here today because the courts are closed. While the protesters took aim at stopping eviction proceedings, other business at the court was affected as well. Where are the police? I mean, these people are shutting down the court system. I'm just trying to get in there and do my job. We work for numerous attorneys. That have nothing to do with these evictions, nothing. Court spokesman Walt Pierce sent us a statement saying where the law allows for evictions to proceed, the judges must follow the law. In reference to the rally, he says everyone trying to get into the courthouse was affected in one way or another, not just parties to eviction proceedings. Judges are rescheduling cases where needed for that reason. Since the statewide moratorium banning evictions ended last month, 343 evictions have been filed in New Orleans. Those were already in the works before the pandemic. As workers, we are getting evicted. Everyone should have a home, right? Now, since the CARES Act expired Saturday, evictions for federally funded housing is once again allowed. Landlords have to give a 30-day notice, so even more evictions are expected in late August. Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News.